Alright, did he bayonetta? Alright. So, alright, starting out on Battlefield. Did he bail? It still says Sigilin, gosh darn it. Alright. No! Oh my god, it auto corrects itself. Alright, that's. Sh anyway, back to the match. Okay, did he come out fast? But Bayonetta with a quick response with a witch time combination to. Ooh! Barely whips that ground. You expect a lot of stage control out of the Diddy Kong, and you expect a lot of burst combos out of the Bayonetta in this matchup. Alright, nice. Doesn't go for the up smash. Knows it's not gonna kill against the solid percent. Ooh, nice tricky back air to break up that uh, attack attempt from the up tilt. There we go. The classic down tilt up smash. Ooh, is he going all the way up? No, nice. Avoids. Well DI'd by him. Or well DI'd by Sig. To avoid combo. He's out the heel, the heel slide, and he's batting him out. He's really, yeah, the stage control is really like the name of the game right now. Looks like um, Sci-Fire is really, really, really struggling to land right now. Or land safe, or land without being pressured. But he's getting, he's getting um, attack attempts, and he's getting uh, that with his. But um, did he's playing the match really well? See if he can get in like that. Excellent, like, call out on the spacing read. Like, all the zoning has its weaknesses. And that F smash apparently was the, the correct stopper of Diddy Kong's ramp control. So this still isn't over. We've seen... We've seen things. Ooh, nice forward throw, and he catches the DI. One up for six. I know you did win. But no, yeah, I was just like. Are you pumped for Russell? Yes. Alright. Game two is switching up to Mewtwo. Um, I feel that. It was a strong performance by the Diddy Kong. And Mewtwo may not be like the optimal character to fight Diddy with, but he definitely has tools that can um, combat him and make it good for Mewtwo. Ooh. Catches him out on the shield on the defensive. Ooh, nice up tilts, but uh, can't get away with any more on it than two. Duffin. He's using that Diddy to his E. It looks like and then there are more neutral interactions, but it looks like the same the same show and tell is happening where um, Six Diddy is just keeping Mewtwo in a perpetual state of neutral or disadvantage. Oh, he goes for everything. Almost catches it too. His teleport was a little too little too good to catch out, but. Oh! Speaking of catching out, he gets the monkey flip. Good call out by uh, Sidefire. Keeping himself in the percent. Tie, lift, tie. Oh, he gets down throw. He's hunting. He's waiting for those. He's trying to... He looks like he's slowly getting more comfortable um, dealing with this pressure. He's finding his ins and outs as opposed to just being shunted out. Ooh, a slight whiff on the grab. That's gonna put Sig ahead, but it's still tight. 
Ooh. Oh my god, he eats four back airs. Three and then the read. But nice catch by Sci-Fire. Pulling him right out of that monkey foot. Ooh, power shield grab. Man, he can't... Dude, I think that's the... He's just, he's just having trouble landing a killing blow right now. It look it, it just keeps it just keeps amounting slowly and slowly for Sig. He keeps reading the defensive options that Sci-Fire is putting out. And now the movement options too. Like this ledge control. Ooh, nice nice little steal the banana. But he steals it right back. Ooh, that See, I respect. He, he he had the read. The spacing was a little off. Good on uh, Sig for putting out a dash attack to throw it out, or throw out his uh, you know, throw out a trick instead of just rolling into the grab. And I'll seal it out. Strong performance from Sig, which is absolutely oppressive stage control.